Good morning, G the fam. Okay, so we are, I think we're still in like the 12th hour or the 11th hour. I think it's the 11th hour. But I just want to say good morning. It's time to rise and grind. How is all my worries and worries doing out there? So I am back with another video. And this, this is a little bit different, you guys. It's still a steamy topic. But at the same time, it's um, it's also just like uplifting. So it's going to be, it's about five things to never feel guilty about. I'm going to give you five things that you are never to feel guilty about, okay? So we're going to just get right into the video. But before we get into the video, you guys, I want y'all to subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the GW fam, please come and search to join the Warriors and the Warriors. We, I would love to have you. Um... And hit the like button on this video. Turn it, turn that like button blue for me. If you're watching right now, just go and hit and smash the like button. Just boop boop. Just go and smash it. It's for free. Just smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell button next to that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any videos. Okay, so let's just get right into the video. So five things you used to never feel guilty about. Number one, changing for the better. You used to never feel bad about changing for the better because some people make you feel like you think you're better than them because you're not doing the things that you used to do anymore, you know, And uh, but that don't mean that. That doesn't mean that you think you're better than them. It's a choice. You feel what I'm saying? It's a choice. It's a choice you made. You made the choice to do the things you was doing just like you made the choice to change and do something different. And just like you made the choice to change, they can too. So don't let nobody ever make you feel guilty for changing for the better, okay? Number two, knowing your worth. Know your worth in everything, in every situation, in every relationship, whether it's friends or an actual romantic involvement. If the person is not treating you the way you feel your standards should be for as in a friendship or in a relationship, and you know you're worth more than it, if you know that you are the type of person that you give your all 100%, whether you're a friend or a, a girlfriend, whether you are a homeboy or a boyfriend, then if that person ain't treating you the way you should be, then you need to move around. Know your worth and make sure people treat you how you deserve to be treated. Boom. Number two. I mean, number three. I'm sorry. Moving on. Never feel guilty about moving on. Sometimes we get connected to people and we be with them for so long that it's a connection there, but there, but the relationship is toxic. The, the friendship is toxic. You know, you can have best friends that you've been friends with for years and years and years, but if, if you sit back and just look over the whole thing, you can see how that relationship wasn't it wasn't all it, what you thought it was to be. And it, when you look, sit back and you look at it, you see that you was the person who was probably doing most of the giving. Or you was the person who was always the one who was quick to come to some, their rescue. And it, it wasn't in return. So when you decide to just say, okay, I'm going to just cut this relationship, go, I'm going to just move on with my, with my life, and you move on. Don't feel guilty because you did that. Because... It's better for you to move and be happy and healthy than to have somebody or people around you that is not healthy for you. You feel what I'm saying? When you want to do something positive, you need to surround yourself with positive things, positive people, positive uh, uh, environments, things that's going to help you mentally, physically, emotionally, and uh, financially too. You know what I'm saying? Number four, protecting your peace. Never feel good to protecting your peace. Sometimes you got to, you know, uh, make a decision that's going to help your peace of mind. If it's going to give you peace of mind where you ain't got to be worried or stressed or burdened down with thinking about something that's occurring over and over, then I think it's good for you to say, you know what, this is not for me. I think I need to just go ahead and back up from this real quick because I like sleeping at night. You feel what I'm saying? So don't never feel guilty for protecting your peace of mind. You know, people got it bad. They'll make you feel guilty. They'll, they'll try to put a guilt trip on you for doing what's best for you. You know, don't... You, you know, and that's not right. I mean, majority of the time when people do that, they can be selfish. And I'm not going to sit here and say, I ain't never did this. Because, I mean, we're human. Sometimes we make mistakes. We haven't done it. And I think all of us got a little selfishness in us at times. But when you really just sit back and think about it, you'll be like, okay, well, no. I will want to be happy. So I want them to be happy. So if that's what it is, that's what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So don't never feel, let nobody, don't never feel guilty for protecting your peace. Okay, number five, and this is the last one. Stand true to your vision. Stay true to your vision. If it's something that you want to do 
and somebody else is doing something else. Okay, let's just say you and got into it, not into it, but you and went in on a project with someone, right? But it wasn't your vision, it was their vision, but you're there helping with their vision. And then all of a sudden you get something that you really, really want to do. If you want to step away from that, then I feel like the person that you with, not saying that you abandoned them, but it shouldn't be a problem if you want to do that with helping them and then also do your own thing too. And then, you know, doing what you have to do, go for what you want to go for. It's like staying true to your vision as well. If that person is for you, if they in your corner, they're going to root you on just like you was rooting them on. You feel what I'm saying? So don't never let nobody make you feel uh, guilty for staying, staying true to your vision. So those are the five things that you are not to feel guilty for. And that's changing for the better, knowing your worth, moving on, protecting your peace, and staying true to your vision. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I thank you for being a part of the Warrior, the G-Dub fam. And I just want to tell all my warriors and warrants out there to just keep your heads up, keep pushing, keep moving. And remember, every time you rise, you got to grind. So to all my godly warriors out there, I salute you. May you continue to walk in promise, promise to go ahead for your life. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.